This is a problem from section 7-3, similar to your homework. A study of ages of motorcyclists killed in crashes involves a random selection of 141 drivers with a mean of 36.06 years. Assuming that sigma is equal to 8.6 years, construct and interpret a 99% confidence interval estimate of the mean age of all motorcyclists killed in crashes. Let's first gather some information here. First thing I do want to highlight is the fact that sigma is given. Sigma is equal to 8.6 years. We'll get that piece of information down and then we look for more stuff. We have the mean is given to us as 36.06 years. And then finally our n is given to us as 141. Because our sigma is given, we can actually use our z interval. And we get to use our z distribution. And we're gonna just going to punch all this information into our calculator. So let's go to our calculator. And let's hit stat. Let's go to tests. And look for z interval. That's number 7. I can scroll down there or I can simply hit number 7 and we have data or statistics. We will select statistics and then we will input all our information. I seem to have mine already in there. Sigma is 8.6, x-bar is 36.06, n is 141, and our confidence level is 99. So 99% confidence level. We will hit, we will go to calculate and hit enter and then we get our result here. So let's write it a little bit differently. We'll write it using our interval notation using the population parameter mu. So we'll start off with 34.194 and then we'll use the less than sign and then we'll need to put the population parameter mu and then another less than sign and then our upper limit is 37.926. So here is our confidence level. Now we can interpret this by saying that we are 99% confident that the true mean is between 34.194 and 37.926 years old. That's our interpretation, so we're basically done with this problem. The homework assignment had a follow-up question. Let's take a look at that. Notice that the confidence interval limits do not include ages below 20 years. What does that mean? Well, if, let's take a look at A. Option A, the mean age of the population will most likely be not less than 20 years old. Okay, that looks like it's a good answer. It actually is a correct answer. But let's take a look at the others and show that they're not correct. The mean age of the population will never be less than 20 years old. Saying the word never here is not a good idea because we're 99 percent confident there's still a one percent chance that it could be less than whatever this interval is so there's a small chance that the average age can still be less than 20 years old c motorcyclists under 20 never die in crashes now that is not true um, that our, our result here does not imply that in fact the survey of or the collection of 141 drivers may well have somebody that's under 20 years old in that in that category so we can't say that and then the last one the mean age of the sample will most likely not be less than 20 years old our confidence interval makes inference or draws conclusions about the population mean um, what we get in our sample mean is irrelevant, or well, not totally irrelevant, not totally irrelevant, but it's not taken into consideration. What we're looking at is is drawing a conclusion about the population mean. Okay, so the correct answer, the correct choice here would be A. All right, I hope that helps.